When did you last? You took some time to relax and think about yourself. Maybe you got a massage. Whether you spent the morning browsing your favorite stores or getting lost in a new movie, one thing is certain. You put down your phone and gave it some attention. The daily grind, but it may have been a while since you've done that. That's totally understandable. You may be very busy with a lot of personal and work-related tasks. You're always there for friends, family and co-workers when they need you, which may mean you never say no to their requests. Your loved ones bring you a lot of joy. But if you forget about other parts of your life, things can get out of whack. You could feel tired, irritable or even unhappy with the people you care about. You need time away from all of this, and it may even be good for your mental health. Setting healthy boundaries will help you take care of yourself while making sure that others treat you with kindness and respect. I want you to watch the whole movie and not miss a single lesson because they will all help you reprioritize yourself, which is something you seem to have lost for a long time. If you do that, please leave a comment. I'm ready to move on to lesson number one. Number one, looking at yourself. One of the most basic and deep ways that stoic thought can help you grow as a person and become more mature is to practice self-examination. Every day, take some time to think carefully about your actions, reactions and thoughts. Ask yourself honest questions like, what good have I done today? What could I have done better? Do my actions match my true values? This daily self-examination is not only a way to become more self-aware, but it's also a deep dive into our own minds that helps us figure out our strengths and flaws. Knowing where we stand helps us see a clear path to growth and self-improvement. Also, self-examination keeps us from falling into the traps of comparison and pointless competition with others. Instead, it helps us focus on ourselves and our journey, acting as a guiding light that lets us see and judge life through our own eyes, not the attention or praise of others, by asking us tough questions and facing ourselves directly. We're not looking for quick fixes or easy answers. Instead, we're taking a slow, careful path to learn more about ourselves and love ourselves more. Not only is self-examination a way to get better, it's also a way to live a meaningful life where we're always trying to be the best version of ourselves. Remember that on this road, every little step forward is an important step on the way to true freedom and happiness. We get so caught up in our worries, work and relationships that we forget about ourselves. Every day the noise around us and inside us gets louder, leaving our souls tired and wanting to escape. In this noisy world, Stoic philosophy has taught me a valuable lesson through moments of silence. I learn to be aware of my feelings and thoughts without judging them. It's simple to forget who we are and what's important to us when life gets crazy. For personal growth and happiness, we need to take the time to look inside ourselves. Self-reflection helps us figure out our strengths, weaknesses, ideals and goals, which leads to a more real and meaningful life. To become more self-aware, start by watching your thoughts, feelings and actions without judging them. Pay attention to how you respond to different situations and look for patterns that keep coming up. Being aware of yourself is the first step to getting to know yourself better. Look into your beliefs and values. Think about the values that guide your choices and activities. Think about whether the values you hold now are in line with who you really are or if they were shaped by outside forces. Get in touch with your core values to make sure you're living in line with who you really are. Accept your imperfections. Recognize that you are not perfect and that no one else is either. Accepting your flaws helps you become more self-compassionate and strong. Focus on progress and self-improvement instead of trying to be perfect, which you can't do. Face your fears and beliefs that hold you back. Find the fears and beliefs that are stopping you from reaching your full potential. 
change the way you think about these negative habits and take small steps outside your comfort zone. Facing your fears is an important part of growing as a person and gaining power. Practice, gratitude, and self-care. Be thankful for the people and things that have made you who you are today. Do things for yourself that are good for your mind, body, and soul. No matter how small your accomplishments are, you should be proud of them and be kind to yourself. When you honestly and compassionately look at yourself, you can start a journey of self-discovery and change. Accept the journey and keep in mind that self-reflection is not a goal, but a way of life that leads to more self-awareness and happiness. Number 2. Being Aware and Meditating not only are mindfulness and meditation good for your mind, they can also help you improve yourself and find out more about yourself. They are more than just techniques. They become guides on a journey to change how we see and interact with the world around us and with ourselves. Imagine that we start the journey of meditation in a quiet space, away from the noise and chaos of everyday life, this is the moment when you and your mind are free to explore without any worries or expectations from others. This is where you find the power to actively control your thoughts and emotions. It's not easy. You have to be patient, commit, and practice every day. But this never-ending work is what gives you the power to control your mind and keep your inner peace, even when things outside of you affect it. Being Mindful a big part of meditation is paying attention to the present moment without judging it. Mindfulness practice teaches us to step back and notice our thoughts, feelings and sensations without getting caught up in or controlled by them. This helps us understand that thoughts and feelings are only temporary states that we can observe without having to identify with or automatically react to them. Mindfulness and meditation practice on a regular basis gives us the power to control not only our thoughts and feelings, but also how we react to the world. As we gain confidence and stay committed to this path, we realize how important it is to focus on ourselves instead of letting comparison and competition with others run our lives. This not only brings us inner peace, but also leads to more freedom and self-awareness. Stoic philosophy takes us on an interesting journey into our inner world. In this world, we are often drawn to the worries, stresses and disturbances of the outside world, which drowns the soul in the vastness of our feelings and thoughts and makes us forget how strong we really are. Join the conversation in our comments section. Leave a comment if you practice mindfulness and meditation and think they can change your life. Number 3. Set goals that are attainable. If you want to work on yourself every day, you need to set clear goals. Stoic philosophy tells us to set goals that are attainable, like getting better at a skill or developing a character trait. By focusing on goals that you can reach, you can give your life meaning and direction. Stoic philosophy stresses how important it is to live a meaningful life while accepting the challenges that life brings. For example, learning a new skill, making a good habit, or even being more patient and kind in relationships are all examples of realistic goals. Anna, an office worker, decided to improve her communication skills. Her goal wasn't to become an inspirational speaker overnight but to get better every day. She did this by reading and thinking about communication principles for 15 minutes every morning and then putting them into practice in her daily life. Daily meetings and interactions with colleagues every evening before bed. Anna took time to pray and express gratitude for the progress she had made for Anna. Prayer was a moment of self-reflection an opportunity to acknowledge positive changes in her life. Through this practice, she not only learned patience and self-acceptance, but also how to be thankful for what she had through Anna's story. We see that setting realistic goals not only helps us focus on ourselves, but also brings satisfaction and gratitude in life. 
These carefully set goals help us create a meaningful life focused on self-improvement every day by by setting realistic goals and focusing on personal development daily. We not only build inner strength, but also cultivate optimism and gratitude a solid foundation for a happy and purposeful life. So remember that every day through prayer and gratitude, we are one step closer to becoming the best version of ourselves in a world that constantly changes amidst pressure and anxiety. We often seek, we look for comfort in other things, like work relationships or material belongings. But the peace we seek comes from within ourselves. It's the process of learning to control our thoughts, feelings, and attitudes in every situation. Setting goals is an important part of growing as a person and as a worker. Setting goals that you can't reach, on the other hand, can make you frustrated and lose drive. It's important to set goals that you can actually reach if you want to keep moving forward. Set clear goals. To begin, make it clear what you want to achieve, whether your goals are for health and fitness, moving up in your job, or growing as a person, be clear about what you want. Think about your resources. Take a look at the time, money, skills and help that are available to you. Having goals that are in line with your means makes it more likely that you will reach them. It. Down. Break your goals down into smaller jobs or milestones that you can handle. This way of doing things makes the general goal less scary and makes it easier to see how you're doing. Set reasonable due dates. Think about how long you really think it will take to reach your goals. When you set deadlines, think about the other things you have to do. Setting goals that are too hard to meet can cause burnout and disappointment. Don't be rigid. Life is uncertain and things can change as you go. Keep an open mind and be ready to change your plans or goals if needed. Being flexible is important for getting past problems and staying on track with your goals. By following these five tips and making goals that you can reach, you can improve your chances of success and stay motivated and proud of your progress along the way. Number four, getting closer to inner peace. This is a magic power. When you start to work on your inner peace, it can become a fortress that protects you from life's storms and a guiding beacon for those around you. I've seen this happen in my own life. When I find tranquility, my family gradually sinks into that peaceful state, making my everyday worries and busyness seem like nothing. This is a profound truth from Stoic philosophy that is backed up by evidence. True peace comes from focusing on oneself and making sure that one's values are reflected in every choice and action. This isn't selfishness, it's building a strong base for peace not only for oneself but also for everyone else. Galvin's story is a good example of this. Galvin is a normal office worker who found peace not in outside circumstances but within himself. Every morning he meditates for a few minutes to center himself and reflect on what really matters, being able to control his thoughts, feelings and actions. He learned to live in the present, even though the world constantly tells him to worry about the future or regret the past. When things go wrong, he doesn't let his negative emotions sweep him away, but instead he focuses on the present. Play music. Galvin asks himself, is this within my control? Most of the time the answer is no, but the question itself helps him learn how important it is to let go of things he can't change and focus on doing good things with the things he can control as he trains. Galvin shows us that when we take care of our inner peace, we not only find happiness and peace for ourselves, but we also become an inspiration and strength for our community. This shows that even though life is full of problems and challenges, the power of inner peace 
can turn them into chances to learn, grow, and make positive changes. Number 5. Having the courage to face problems. Life is a trip full of risks and difficulties. Adversity is always testing our inner strength and resilience. Stoic philosophy's lessons on courage and perseverance help us deal with adversity with resilience. But how do we keep this strength even in the darkest moments of life? Every day, social media is full of inspiring stories of people who overcame pain and hardship with faith and amazing strength. Maybe these stories make you wonder how you can do the same. While others can handle huge problems, are you facing your small ones with enough courage? Stoic philosophy and the lives of inspiring people like Nick Vui and Jack Ma are not only lessons in how to be strong, but also proof of how courage and self-belief can turn hardship into motivation to keep going and rise above. Facing challenges is not only a personal journey, but also a way to share what you've learned and get ideas from others. This persistence leads us to the huge power we have inside us to get past any problem. The ideas in Stoic philosophy teach us that we all have amazing abilities to deal with and get through hard times. These ideas create a grand symphony of courage, belief and perseverance that inspires us not only to fight life's windmills, but also to find meaning and value in every step of our journey. I'd like to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for sticking with us through the first half of this video series. Your patience and attention are not only a great source of inspiration for us, but also a great example of how to apply the Stoic philosophy to everyday life. Remember that taking time for yourself is not only an important part of self-care, but also a solid step toward building inner strength and resilience in the face of life's challenges. As a token of appreciation, we hope you will continue to support us by liking and sharing this video with your friends, those who are also seeking peace, strength and meaning in life. Now let's continue this journey together with the next lesson. For personal growth and strength, it's important to have the courage to face problems. When we face our problems head on, we not only get past them, but we also find our inner power and growth potential. This lesson, recognize reality. Recognizing a problem is the first thing that needs to be done to solve it. Denying or avoiding the problem only makes it lasts longer and often gets worse. We can make a plan of action when we face reality head on and become clear on the nature and scope of the problem. Accept discomfort. When we want to solve a problem, we often have to leave our comfort zones. We have to be able to deal with pain, doubt and fear. By embracing discomfort, we improve our ability to handle tough scenarios and make ourselves stronger when bad things happen. Don't face your problems alone. Being brave doesn't mean you have to. You can ask for help if you need to. Ask for help from family, friends, teachers or professionals who can give you advice, a different point of view and support. Remember that asking for help is a sign of power, not weakness. Focus on solutions. Instead of dwelling on how big the problem is, put your energy into finding ways to fix it. Break the problem down into parts that you can handle. Come up with ideas and think about other ways to do it. Keeping an attitude that is focused on solutions gives you the power to do something positive. Learn and grow. It's possible to learn and grow from every problem. Think about what you learned from the event and use what you've learned to solve problems in the future. Accept setbacks as chances to learn and be proud of your growth, no matter how small. Being brave enough to deal with problems doesn't mean you're confident. It means you're aware of your fears and act anyway. You can face life's challenges with strength and determination if you accept truth, discomfort and support, focus on solutions and see them as chances to grow. 
Remember that being brave doesn't mean not being afraid. It means being ready to move, even though you're scared. Number six, getting stronger, strength and resilience. It's not enough to be able to handle storms. You also need to be able to turn problems into chances and lessons into problems. To begin, let's acknowledge that we all have a powerful tool, our willpower and intelligence. When you accept this truth, you will no longer see problems as problems, but as opportunities to move forward in your personal growth journey. Being resilient isn't about never falling. It's about being able to get back up every time you do. Life's dust should never blind you. Acceptance and understanding are also important for building resilience. If you can accept everything in life with a calm mind and know that everything happens for a reason, you'll find peace in your soul. This means that every challenge you overcome isn't just a material victory, but a turning point for spiritual growth that makes you more courageous, resilient and mature, especially in the Stoic philosophy building. Being resilient is a journey of self-discovery. You don't get patience and courage from outside sources. You develop them in your own heart and mind. It's a process of questioning and answering yourself, which helps you see that you have a choice in every situation, and that choice is what makes you truly resilient. Finally, keep in mind that the power of resilience doesn't always come from facing problems head on. In a world full of mental and physical challenges, getting stronger isn't just about lifting weights. It's also about building resilience, persistence and drive. To get stronger, you need to do more than just build strength. You need to make your mind and body stronger so you can handle life's challenges with confidence and grace. Set clear goals. To start, think about what it means to you to get better. Is it getting stronger physically, staying mentally tough, or both? Setting clear attainable goals will help you stay on track and keep you motivated. Consistent training. It's important to be consistent when you're working out, practicing focus, or doing hard things. Results come from consistent, focused work over time. Accept the process and have faith in your ability to move forward. Do not give up. When you leave your safe zone, you grow. Don't be afraid to push yourself past what you think are your limits. Accept that pain can help you grow, whether it's adding more weight to the barbell or facing your fears head on. Link between mind and body. Pay attention to how your mind and body are linked. Mental toughness often leads to physical strength and the other way around too. Meditation, visualizing, and positive self-talk are all good habits to get into that will help you with both. Accept failure as feedback. Failing is not the end. It's a chance to learn and get better. Accept setbacks as useful input. Change how you do things and keep going. Remember that being resilient doesn't mean never failing. It means getting back up better every time. By following these five rules, you'll not only get stronger, but you'll also develop the toughness and drive you need to deal with the problems you face in life. Remember that getting stronger is a process that lasts a lifetime and leads to personal growth and strength. Number seven, be thankful every day. At its core, gratitude isn't just a virtue. It's a deep recognition of the richness bestowed upon us by the loving hand of God. It's the sacred art of recognizing the many blessings we are showered with every day, casting off the shadows of discontent and embracing the light of gratitude. We are called to turn inward and cultivate the habit of gratitude as the abundant gifts bestowed upon us instead of focusing on the gaps we feel in our lives. Besides that, thanks is a lighthouse in the storm of trouble, sheltering tired minds and souls during tough times. Let's not give up and instead look within to the wellspring of gratitude that lives inside each of us. Even on the darkest nights, there is a glimmer of hope, 
a faint ray of gratitude that lights our way and leads us to peace. It is in those moments of deep gratitude that we find the true essence of resilience, finding strength in our unwavering faith that everything, joy and sorrow alike, has a greater purpose. Truth seekers should listen to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and the holy teachings of faith. They should also embrace the transformative power of gratitude with an open heart and unwavering devotion. When we practice gratitude, we not only find comfort for our souls, but we also unlock the endless treasures of inner peace and divine grace. If you agree with our view on the above feeling, please leave a comment below this movie showing gratitude. Number 8. Putting Virtue First it's important to put these ideals first in everything we do and decide when we talk about focusing on ourselves every day. This means that we should not only know about these virtues, but also live by them every day, no matter what. For example, let's say that someone steals your idea and claims credit for it. This is a test of your fairness and resilience. You decide to follow the principles of stoicism instead of getting tense and angry. You are wise enough to know that getting angry only makes things worse for you. You face this situation with courage by being honest with your co-worker about the problem and taking a fair stance. By doing this, you not only show that you are moderate and fair, but you also keep your self-respect and belief in your worth. By putting morality first in your actions, you can create a meaningful and truly happy life that isn't affected by outside factors. This shows that putting virtues first not only helps us live in line with our true nature, but it also helps us build good relationships with ourselves and those around us. This shows how important it is to focus on ourselves and put virtues first in our daily lives. Maybe accepting the present is the most natural thing we can do. Life changes all the time, and sometimes those changes don't go the way we want them to. It takes patience and courage to face the changes that come up in life in order to accept the present. To begin, let's talk about what values are and why they're important. Good moral qualities or traits like honesty, compassion, bravery and integrity are called virtues. Knowing how important morals are is the first step in putting them first when making decisions. Think about your own values. Take some time to think about your own morals and choose the traits that speak to you the most. Think about times when you admired someone's behavior or were proud of what you did and try to figure out what values were at play. Self-awareness helps you make sure that what you do fits with what you believe in. Learn how to make ethical decisions. When you have to make a choice, put ideals ahead of quick gains or ease of life. Think about what your actions mean in terms of ethics and try to make choices that are in line with good morals. This could mean giving up short-term gains for the sake of long-term ethics and happiness. Set a good example. Be a good example by always acting in a good way when you're interacting with other people. Your actions say a lot about you, whether you're in a personal relationship, at work or in the neighborhood. Setting a good example encourages others to do the same in their own lives. Beginning of Putting Virtue First the idea of putting virtue first is a way to live a worthwhile and satisfying life in a world that is often driven by competition, self-interest and instant gratification. By putting values like honesty, kindness and ethics first, people not only improve their own character, but they also help make society more moral and peaceful. The purpose of this study is to look into the meaning of virtues and show how they affect our choices, interactions, and eventually, our sense of purpose. Adopting virtue as your main driving principle can help you live a life full of honesty, kindness, and long-lasting happiness. If you think about it, practice it, and make a promise to yourself to grow. Number 9 being able to accept the present moment. 
Being okay with the deep lessons are a powerful reminder to enjoy all that life has to give. Having both joy and pain in a world that is always changing. Being able to accept everything from happiness to problems is a great thing. Ways to free ourselves from the chains of choices and expectations should be used to promote harmony and peace instead. Acceptance is not just an action in the outside world, but also a state of thought, a state of the soul. It's not about not giving up and letting fate happen, but rather a deep understanding of nature and a spirit of getting along with everything that happens in life doesn't mean giving up. When you give up or accept truth, you act from a place of deep spirituality. Also, as we accept things as they are, we should pay attention to the lessons that Jesus taught us in his lessons. We can see that accepting your fate and putting your trust in God's plan are two sides of acceptance. With help and safety, we learn that by accepting. In fact, we're also showing faith and patience in God's good plans. Acceptance of the present moment not only brings peace and tranquility to the soul, but it also helps you grow as a person. As adults, when we accept things as they are, we free ourselves from the worries about the future and the weight of the past, but they also open the way to knowledge and a readiness to learn something new from every situation. In learn to carefully accept the present moment in your life, make love room in your soul for peace and freedom, and don't forget. Being self-aware means realizing that every moment is a gift from life. An important step on our way to freedom and happiness in life, that we're often stuck in a tornado of wants and dislikes, pulling us away from the peace and stoic philosophy, teaches us how to control our wants and needs so that we can find inner peace. And distractions, we're really learning how to take charge of life instead of having it take over us. Control us, let's look at how stoic ideas can help us deal with those wants and needs, aversions, and become more focused on ourselves, peace and happiness. Number 10. Taking care of desire and dislike. Stoicism is both a way of life and a strong way to deal with life's deepest and most important problems. It does this by looking for meaning and happiness in life. This is one of the Stoicism's most important lesson, is that we need to learn how to control our wants and stay away from the mind in a world full of wants and problems. We get caught up in our wants and other people's demands all the time. But the Stoic said ideas about we can be free and happy even if we can't change things that are out of our control. We can get those things by accepting them and focusing on them reply, we have power over what goes on in our minds. Imagine entering an art contest where you have to look good. Thanks and compliments from the judges that you've been working on for months, and you make through your works of art are magnificent and beautiful. It's disappointing that you don't get the attention you deserve when it comes time to show them. What do you think the jury will do? Sophistic thought will teach you that being liked by other people doesn't make you happy. Accepting and respecting yourself does, rather than giving in to sadness and the desire to be noticed by others. The drive to keep developing your talent. Being independent and getting to know yourself gives you the chance to shine easily. Be sure of yourself no matter what happens or what you can't change. Will help you find peace and happiness in your life. Unfortunately, life is full of problems and difficulties. We can't change the way things work, so we have to accept that fear and anxiety are normal parts of living. If we follow these rules every day, we can focus on solving problems and responding more calmly and evenly. You will find that you never lose sight of the truth of light and freedom in life the breeze of pointless wants and fears, you will instead learn new ways to be deeply happy and long-lasting feelings that we all have. When this journey through 10 Stoic lessons on focusing on what we can change is over, 
remember that we always have the most power inside us, if we admit it and focus on. By looking at what we can change, we can see that life isn't just about getting better, also about liking and accepting everyone around us. Keep that in mind as you go through life. In times of trouble, there are things we can change and things we can't. Your problems will give you strength and support to get through them all. Obstacles. Tell us about your adventures and which lessons stuck with you. Leave a comment below telling us who they are and how they've changed your life and grow together. Finally, don't forget to help each other. Share, subscribe and like our channel by continuing to watch the videos shown at the end of this video to keep getting useful and thank you for watching our video and we'll see you in the next video.